Good day students, welcome to MacBookServe.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over some examples on how to uh, evaluate limits by direct uh, evaluation, okay? Don't forget to visit our website at MacBookServe.com for a wide variety of math tutorials ranging from algebra to calculus. All right, let's take a look at question number one. I'm going to evaluate the limit algebraically first, and then we're going to use the graph to deepen our understanding of um, the algebraic result I got, okay? So using direct evaluation, what is the limit as x approaches 0 of this expression right here? So by direct evaluation, uh, what we're simply going to do is plug in this x value into x in the expression right here, okay? So by direct evaluation, we're going to have negative 0 to the third, plus 3 times 0 square minus 6, okay? And then when we evaluate this using um, the order of operations, we're going to have 0 plus 0 minus 6. And your final answer is negative 6, okay? All right, so what does this, um, how can we find this result graphically? If you're looking at the graph, this the graph of this function is this expression right here. Let's go ahead and graph it and uh, label it. So this is y equals negative x to the third plus 3x squared minus 6. So what this problem is saying is as you approach, um, x, as x approaches 0 from both sides, what y value do you approach? So the easiest way is you trace x equals 0 to the graph. So if I trace x equals 0 to the graph, <clears throat> I'm going to end up at a point, a defined point, okay? So if I trace x, this is x equals 0 right here. If I trace it to the graph, the problem is asking you, as you get to the x value of this point, what y value are you approaching, okay? So what are the coordinates of this point? The coordinates of this point are 0, comma, negative 6, all right? So as you get really, really close to 0, from both sides on the x-axis, what y value are you approaching? You notice that the graph, the y value is approaching negative six. Okay, so another way to think about graphical limits is as you're approaching the x value of a particular point, what is the y value that you're approaching? Okay, if the left and the right hand limits approach the same point, left and right hand direction, then that limit is defined. And we can clearly see that negative six is the limit as x approaches 0 of this expression. All right, let's take a look at question number 2. We have to find the limit as x approaches 3 of this expression right here. Now, just to make our lives easier, we, um, we can factor this denominator if possible, and then we can reduce it to see if, um, just to see if the value we're approaching is a point or it's a um, a discontinuity okay um, if the discontinuity is infinite then the limit if the if you're approaching different directions like infinity and negative infinity then that limit is undefined the limit does not exist okay so let's go ahead and factor the denominator real quick I'm going to use the X game here so um, AC for the denominator is uh, 20 and D is negative 9 two numbers that work um, let's see, to get 9, how about we use 5 and 4, negate both of them, negative 5, negative 4 works. All right, so this problem, limit as x approaches 3 of x minus 5 over x squared minus 9x plus 20. We can factor the denominator, limit as x approaches 3 of x minus 5 divided by the factored form. Using our x game right here, we can see that the factored form is x minus 4 times x minus 5. All right, so we have a removable discontinuity here, x minus 5. You can see it on the graph. Since it's a removable discontinuity, even though the graph is discontinuous at that point, the limit still exists because you're approaching the same y value, na namely positive 1, as you approach 5 from both sides. All right. So that's the significance of that. So let's take that out. We're looking for the limit as x approaches 3 of 1 over x minus 4. Had it been we're approaching 4, then we'll have a problem because 
the left and the right hand limits will be different, okay? But we're approaching three, which is excellent. So let's substitute it in by direct evaluation. Three minus four, uh, and you have one over negative one, which is negative one. So that's your answer. Graphically, the X value we are approaching is three, is three. So we trace it to the graph. So what are the coordinates of this point? The coordinates of that point is uh, three, three comma negative one. So what this limit is asking you is as you get arbitrarily close to three from both sides, what Y value are you getting close to? You're getting close to the Y coordinate of that X value you're approaching. Since it's the same on both sides, guess what? Your limit is negative one. So that basically confirms our result here. All right, let's take a look at question three. This is a linear function that we're looking at. So let's go ahead and evaluate the limit by direct substitution and then confirm our answers graphically, okay? So limit as x approaches negative three of negative two x minus one. By direct substitution, we're just going to substitute the value that x is approaching into the x uh, positions in the function. So this is gonna be negative two times negative three minus one, all right? Now we're going to use um, order of operations to simplify this. Negative two times negative three is positive six. And then positive six minus one, your final answer is positive five. All right, so there goes your limit. Now graphically, what does this mean? We are approaching negative three from both sides since there are no directions indicated. So all we do is we take the X value we're approaching, trace it to the function, okay? And we notice that we have a point Okay, so what are the coordinates of that point that we have there? The coordinates of this point is negative three, of course, and five. All right, so coordinates are negative three and five. So as you're getting arbitrarily close to negative three from both sides, the limit is the y value that you're approaching, namely five. Okay, as you get closer and closer to three, negative three from both sides, you notice that you're approaching the same y value which is positive five. And that shows that our answer is in fact correct. Okay, for number four, we have a trigonometric situation. We want to find the limit as x approaches negative pi over two of sine two x. So we're going to evaluate this by direct substitution first, and then we will confirm our answer using the graph provided, okay? So by direct substitution, we just plug in negative pi over two here. So we're going to have sine of two times negative pi over two, okay? The twos divide out and we have sine of negative pi. So what is the sine of negative pi? Uh, what you do is you graph your um, sine function, all right? And then we can determine what sine of negative pi is so the parent sine function goes from um, negative one, I'm sorry, goes from one to negative one, goes from one to negative one. All right, so we have pi here and we have negative pi there. All right, that's all I need. So sine goes up to the right like this. <clears throat> Let's try that again. So we have the sine function looks something like this, goes to the max and then back to the center. So it goes like that to pi and then all the way to two pi. One complete period is, is two pi, okay? And then for the negative area, the same thing in the opposite direction. All right, so I just wanted to show you what our sine of negative pi is. We can clearly see that sine of negative pi is zero, okay? Sine of negative pi is zero. So um, the limit is zero. Okay, graphically, what does that mean? Well, we're approaching negative pi over two from both sides, so let's graph the point. We have this point right here. What are the coordinates of this point? The coordinates of this point are negative pi over two and zero. So x approaching negative pi over two from both sides, the limit as x approaches with negative pi over two from both sides is basically asking what is the y coordinate of the value that you're approaching as x gets arbitrarily close to negative two from both sides. So as you get really close to negative two, pi over two from both sides, you notice that the y coordinate of the point you're approaching 
is zero. Okay, you're getting really, really close to this y value right here, which is zero. All right, so we can clearly see that our answer is in fact correct. All right, let's take a look at question number five. We have a radical function here, and we are to find the limit as x approaches one of the square root of x plus one. Okay, so let's do this by direct substitution first, direct evaluation. We're just plugging one into the um, radical. Okay, so we're going to have the square root of 1 plus 1, and that's simply root 2. All right, let's see if our answer is correct by using a graphical uh, methodology here. So we're approaching 1 from both sides. Um, so we have 1 right here. So we just trace it through the graph, okay? And that's, this is 1, and then that's the point. So it's somewhere close to 2. Yeah, somewhere between 1 and 2, but we know that the square root of 2 is approximately 1.414. So um, this point right here, we could say it's the coordinates are 1, 1.414. 1. All right, so the meaning of this limit is as you get really, really close to 1 from both sides, what is the y coordinate of the point that you're um, approaching the x coordinate of? The y coordinate is somewhere between 1 and 2, so like 1.4, and that's a confirmation that our answer is in fact correct. Okay, so when working alg um, algebraically, you can find limits by direct substitution, but graphically, try to find a point, and the y coordinate of the point that you're approaching from both sides is normally the, the limit that you are looking for. Okay, so that's that. So now that you're done, you want to go ahead and uh, try out some practice problems. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool tutorials such as this. More clips can be found on mod.serve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.